from the KATC Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Well, we got off to a little bit of a rocky start earlier this morning with showers and storms across the Acadiana. Even some flash flood warnings, uh, especially if you were north of the I-10 corridor, say up in Evangeline or St. Landry parishes. But uh, all of that quickly uh, exited the area late this morning, early this afternoon, giving way to mostly sunny skies, mild temperatures, mid 70s. And it's going to stay mild over the next couple of days, but boy, we have a really strong cold front that's going to get here Tuesday night. One going to bring the threat of severe weather, but also a big cool down really for the remainder of that 10 day forecast. So we'll take a look at it in just a second. But first, again, you see those showers and storms that pushed through late last night, early this morning. Again, some areas, especially if you in Evangeline Paris say picking up anywhere from three to six inches of rainfall. So that F definitely exceeded the forecast just a bit, but actually most areas is along and south of the I-10 corridor, picking up less than an inch of rainfall. And again, as we dial it into Power Doppler 3, all is quiet, not much really going on. And that's the way it's going to go through the remainder of this evening and overnight tonight. We'll call it cool, uh, upper 50s to lower 60s. That, <clears throat> excuse me, that's where we're going to start the day tomorrow. Maybe some patchy fog. Kind of low cloud cover out there first thing in the morning, so be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, it's going to be a mostly cloudy day, maybe a few peaks of the sun into the afternoon to help push temperatures into the upper 60s to lower 70s. We do stay dry. Rain chances no better uh, than around 5 to 10 percent. Winds very light out of the east northeast at around 3 to 6 miles per hour. Tuesday starts out upper 50s to lower 60s, and winds are going to be picking up throughout the day on Tuesday ahead of our next storm system. Uh, winds anywhere uh, out of the southeast at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. Notice these temperatures warm for the time of year. Mid to upper 70s may see a few stream or showers throughout the day on Tuesday, but really the storms are going to get cooking across the Arklatex into the afternoon and evening hours, and this is where the severe weather threat is going to be maximized. And then we'll see uh, kind of a line of showers and storms beginning to approach Acadiana sometime Tuesday night and then heading into uh, Wednesday morning. Again, the potential for some locally heavy rainfall. Also low end threat of severe storms. We'll detail that uh, with the next graphic here uh, and then slowly starts to exit the area from west to east as Wednesday afternoon wears on. So all of Acadia as we look ahead to Tuesday, really for us, it's going to be Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. All of Acadiana already locked in for a level two out of five risk of severe weather and potential hazards for us. Again, a few storms could be capable of producing damaging winds. A couple of isolated tornadoes could be possible, but again, that risk is going to be maximized as per usual for areas a little bit farther off to our north, say across Sinla, and then as you get into the northern parts of the state. And really, this is the area here that's going to be under the greatest risk to see uh, a few strong, potentially uh, a few strong uh, tornadoes out there. So we'll be able to look out for that. Also, again, the potential for some heavy rainfall. There is a slight risk for excessive rainfall heading into that time period, so uh, we'll be keeping an eye on an isolated flash flooding risk as well. Winds light tomorrow again out of the east northeast three to six miles per hour, but then watch as we head into Tuesday. They're going to start to turn around out of the southeast and pretty gusty at times sustained again 15 to 20 miles per hour, uh, but again gusts at times even a little bit higher than that. So for tonight, it's cool upper 50s to lower 60s, partly to mostly cloudy skies with some patches of fog possible through the overnight period. So again, be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, tomorrow it's going to be mostly cloudy starts of the week. We'll call it mild temperatures. Upper 60s to lower 70s into the afternoon. Rain chances no better than around 10%. Really going to start to ramp up though late on Tuesday, really Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning at around 90% there. Uh, again, with a threat of severe storms, we begin to threat a little bit greater as you get farther off to our north. Now, behind this front, we are talking much cooler conditions as we see afternoon highs returning to the 50s and 60s overnight lows settling into the 30s and 40s so it'll be back to winter for sure for the rest of that 10 day forecast so have the jackets and coats ready to go some good news as we head into the holiday, holiday season, season even right. further down the line well thanks bradley <laughs>